Black History Month may have ended, but the lessons learned in a second grade classroom continue in New Iberia. Last month, the class learned about civil rights activist Ruby Bridges. Bridges was the first African-American child to desegregate the all-white William France Elementary School in New Orleans. And now students at Jefferson Island Road Elementary School want to learn more from Bridges herself. Katie Easter reports on their efforts to meet an icon. Eight-year-old Isaac Archangel was a new student only a few months ago, but those first day jitters went away thanks to his new best friend, Tate. If Tate wasn't here and I had no friends in here, I would be scared. After Black History Month, these students learned their mere friendship is only possible because of civil rights activists like Ruby Bridges who paved the way. In their days, it, it was like about scare because black people can't go to white people's schools so Ruby was scared because people drawing stuff and holding up signs. Without Rosa Parks, Ruby and Martha Luther King, if we didn't have these people, um, we'll, it'll be still segregation now in these days in 2020. Now he and his classmates are hoping to meet Ruby Bridges. Because we really want to know more about you and learn how you did it and learn how to be brave just like you. One of my students actually inspired me to do some research and see what I can do to get her to come to our school. With the help of their teacher, Mary Moore, the class made a YouTube video in an effort to get Bridges' attention. We were going to try to bribe her with food. If the YouTube video doesn't work out, at least we'd have something <laughs> to back that up with. But hopefully by the end of the year, we will have good news. In New Iberia, Katie Easter, KTC, TV3. And the Iberia Parish School Board is in the process of arranging a speaking, a speaking engagement with Ruby Bridges. We'll keep you posted, and if Bridges is able to come, hopefully we'll be there as well.